In this video, we're going to use Gitras byte view to patch a binary and then re import it into a working exe file. For this to work, you have to unfortunately import the binary as a raw binary. Because if you import your binary as a PE file, then Gitra will automatically load each section into its own memory space and this process cannot be currently undone by Gitra. So you cannot export the original PE file again if you import it as a PE. So we now can import it as a raw binary and then we can also export it as a raw binary and then the exported file will work as a normal exe file. I'm gonna select x86 32-bit Visual Studio and import it. As example, I'm again using a binary from the fantastic book Practical Malware Analysis and this time I'm using the first binary of the ninth lab. Open up this in, in code browser and then analyze it. Unfortunately because we didn't load this as a PE file but only as a raw file we lose a lot of information that would be helpful for this analysis. For example if a function would have been loaded at a different address during the PE import process, then the calls to this function will now not be resolved correctly. And so we start the analysis. Now I know the original task of this lab is different, but I'm just gonna to demonstrate the byte view patch this URL here in this binary. So we open the bytes view and there you have the URL right here. What you can then do is click in here and then you can hit this button that enables editing. So let's say for example, I want this to go to HTTPS www and then google.com and then terminate this with a null byte. Fill the rest up with null bytes and then we're going to save it and then we're going to export this and then we're going to export this as a binary. We call this patched. Hit OK. And now to demonstrate that this works, I will run this binary in a virtual machine. Obviously, we have to rename this, that it's not called a bin file, but an exe file. And we're going to throw this in here. And there you have it. The binary runs.